Hey guys, it's Greek ESC fan here, and today I'm going to show you uh, Crossfire West. Uh, we're gonna take a look around the game and see how the game environment is. Uh, as you can see, my name is inside the game is also Greek ESC fan, just without the spaces in between. Uh, currently, my rank is SFC. Uh, uh, rank 6 out of 6 and my next level will be Master Sergeant and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this level up since uh, it's the last Sergeant related level if we can say so um, and uh, yeah I mean who, who doesn't want a higher level you know uh, first of all I'm gonna show you my inventory here and as you can see, uh, nothing out of the ordinary, just some uh, basic weapons, of course. Uh, M41, my personal uh, favorite rifle, also AK-47, a very good rifle too. Uh, then we have this Vanguard M4A1 that uh, you can upgrade and you get some uh, nice perks off of it, for example, bonus EXP, some additional bullets. Uh, later on, in the later levels, you also get uh, faster reload speed and uh, all that good stuff. And the way you upgrade this is by purchasing these upgrade kits that you can find here in the Mylad shop. You can also buy them uh, using uh, ZP, but I wouldn't recommend doing that since uh, you know you can get them for free. It just has a cooldown on it, which means you know you can't buy like ten of these at a time. You you have to wait before you buy them again. But uh, you know I think uh, it's certainly worth the wait. Uh, of course, if you wanna spend the money, then uh, you know it's up to you. Uh, but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, I have these two rifles, also the AWM, uh, my favorite sniper, and uh, some uh, temporary stuff that I got by leveling up and whatnot. Uh, grenades, we have one of uh, each grenade type, as you can see, type A, type B, and type C. Uh, Desert Eagle is the go-to uh, pistol when it comes to crossfire. Uh, yeah, there are some other good pistols as well, but Desert Eagle is the only good one that you can buy with uh, the in-game currency or GP, which stands for Game Points and not ZP. Uh, next, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the bad system here. Now, every time you get kills with... Uh, a specific weapon type, for example, rifles and machine guns, you will uh, earn progress through this uh, badge system right here. So, rifles and uh, machine guns will uh, grant you the soldier badge, snipers, uh, the sniper badge, obviously, uh, submachine guns, shotguns, and pistols, the scout badge. Uh, knives, throwing weapons and pistols, again the assassin, so pistols can be used for both uh, of these badges. And the elite badge is just, uh, you know, uh, getting all the others. So if you have, let's say, uh, this rank from every single badge, then you will get the elite one. Uh, there is some rewards that you get with that. They're pretty minuscule, but, uh, you know, it's better than nothing, I guess. There is also the achievement system, which, um, as you play different game modes and uh, different maps, uh, you will gain uh, progress uh, through uh, all these achievements here. Some of them you can only get once, most of them actually, but some of them you can, you know, keep getting over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, there is uh, also this one. The system achievement. So the combat achievement is basically by playing games. Uh, the system here you get them by buying things or gaining GP for example, this one, or spending ZP uh, or buying crates 
you know, uh, the, the, description are, the descriptions are pretty self-explanatory, so uh, yeah. And here, hidden, I, I don't know what what's here because it's hidden, so I don't know why that exists. Zombie record, also, um, uh, when you play zombie mode, you will be able to gain some points to spend to uh, increase your character perform performance in-game and also some uh, upgrade systems defense systems rather uh, now it's time you kill a boss you will gain a mark at five marks you will get a chest which contains uh, some loot and there is also some special bosses here so uh, that's it pretty much in regards to the game uh, you know leveling system uh, now let's uh, go ahead and uh, find a game to join and uh, I'll go ahead and search for a game and I'll be right back alright so I found the game right here let's join now let's see what we can do and now you'll see some actual gameplay of Crossfire West let's go team deathmatch so I will not talk during the gameplay you just enjoy the gameplay and I'll be back with you when the game is over Alright, so the game has been completed. Uh, I didn't do that all that well, just 9 kills, 6 deaths, and we got a bunch of EXP and uh, GP. Uh, Alright, uh, also, each time you play, you complete some uh, tasks here. Of course, you can, you know, look what the task asks you to do and uh, do it right away and complete it that way. Uh, yeah, so um, that was uh, the gameplay. Now, uh, the way you get new weapons in this game, there's actually a lot of ways to get new weapons in the game. Uh, the most obvious one is the item shop. So if you go over to weapon and select GP, there is quite a few weapons to get. Uh, but the downside to this is that these weapons they are pretty basic and uh, yeah this game is not all that popular for being you know uh, fair <laughs> when it comes to money spending so if we go over to the black market and check the zippy crate there is a lot of upgraded versions of the weapons that you can get uh, and uh, yeah these ones have significant advantages for example uh, more uh, bullets in the magazines uh, but other than that you know it's not it's not that bad what's really bad though 
is the VIP weapons. Now these ones, uh, they are basically no match for the basic weapons because not only do they have like eight, sometimes even more additional bullets in their magazines, their reloads are super fast, they have super high accuracy, super low recoil, uh, sometimes uh, they even have like 100% wall bank damage so let's say you shoot someone through a box uh, it's gonna deal full damage whereas a normal weapon wouldn't uh, so yeah there's a lot of advantages and as you can see they are super expensive uh, and uh, you know that kinda makes sense because they want you to pay to uh, have an easier game uh, but you can also, yeah, get weapons from the black market. There is also GP crates, although as you can see, once again, the weapons are pretty basic. Uh, but it's pretty fun, you know, spending uh, GP to uh, spin some crates if you have. I don't at the moment. I only have 50,000 GP and that's not nearly enough to spend uh, for uh, spinning crates. Now these right here, they are like, let's say, the premium uh, crates that you can buy. They are even more expensive than these ones. So let's say I want to spin 10 crates for these three weapons right here. I will need 10,000 uh, ZP. And if we take a look at the ZP uh, prices, if you go over to the Z8 Games website, and you see the, the ZP prices, you'll be able to see that 10,000 ZP is about $10 worth of ZP. So that's also quite expensive, you know. It usually takes like 50 crates to win a permanent weapon from here. So you'll need about like 40 to $50 to win one of these weapons. So you might as well buy a VIP at that rate. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, let's see what other items. There are also, of course, cosmetics for your character. Uh, most of them give you, like, uh, EXP, as you can see here. Uh, there is other characters you can get as well. For example, I'm using the SWAT 2.0. There is also the SAS or the OMA 2.0. Uh, I think this one is the best, but uh, that's just a personal opinion. You can use whichever you like. And uh, I think uh, we've gotten a pretty good look and feel of Crossfire. Obviously there is way more game modes to work with. I just showed you the most basic one, uh, the Team Deathmatch. But uh, yeah, it's up to you to find which game mode you like the most and uh, then uh, try and uh, pretty much master that game mode. So that's all for me. I'll see you all next time. And take care, everyone.